Hey YouTube family, welcome back. Glad you come back to see me. We have got some updates for my Jeep XJ 4x4 project. Gonna be in my tow vehicle behind the bus. Uh, as you know, we're cleaning the house around here. I got rid of the camper. Took it out yesterday. You know, my goal is to get rid of all my used vehicles and stuff that I've got here at my dad's. Like I said, I got rid of the camper and I wanna be end up with the bus and the Jeep and maybe one truck. And this truck was supposed to be the one I keep. It's got 350,000 miles on it. It's always been my tried and true. So unfortunately this last week it started missing and and dying and stuff and i did the fuel system i went through all that went and had it hooked up to a professional computer uh better than the one you get like at a rally or whatever you know <laughs> anyway it threw 163 codes come on people so that's why it's out here in the back of the pasture because uh ain't gonna get fixed anytime soon we're not gonna spend any more money on this truck right now and we're gonna concentrate on the jeep if you watched the last video we took out the motor and replaced everything underneath the hood let me show you what it looks like now as you can see i gave her a good bath got her all cleaned up we still need to work on getting some new tires looking at those soon the windshield was leaking on into the floorboard so i had to take cut the carpet out because it's been leaking for a while now on the windshield it wasn't sealed wasn't even glued on three quarters of the way around the window well i decided to go ahead and try to take the window out and uh it didn't go over too well because before it didn't have a, a a crack or anything in it well so now i have to replace the windshield yeah another 200 dollars here but i did get a new gasket to put in it and that should stop my leaking the only thing left on the jeep right now is it won't get any fire and of course everything involved with the getting it getting it fired up and spark has been replaced except for one thing and i got that on order what is that a new ecm yep gotta have one of these it's fried so 250 dollars it'll be here this week and let's hope we can get her started up and fired up and i'm going to share that with you because that's going to be a big moment I spent a lot of time and a good amount of money in this old Jeep to get her on the road because let me show you what else I picked up. So do what I do in uh, my spare time. You know, I always look at the Facebook marketplace and Craigslist and stuff. Just just shopping around, messing around. Well, I found a guy that lives about maybe 15 miles from here selling a Blue Ox tow bar. Supposedly these Blue Ox tow bars go for about $650 uh new this one's in perfect condition uh it's been stored a lot and but it's still in good work and order i picked it up for 250 bucks that's a pretty good deal so now i have to get the front base plate that mounts to the jeep and that's i don't know about 500 something dollars so that's gotta wait because we got other things to do uh we're gonna get some tires on it we're gonna redo the headliner and get her started then we can get her legal so y'all stay tuned because it's a free reign nomad you never know what's going to happen next 